Well, Mark, was that a case of worst fears realised? We know how dangerous Posh can be, especially at home, and they certainly showed that within, in particular, that seven-minute period in the first half. Yeah, well, that killed the game, didn't it? Um, up to that point, I thought it was a good, good game for both sides. I thought we started very well, and the first 30 minutes were good, and then the um, game unravelled really quickly. We, we can definitely defend the first goal better, but then it flustered us, and, and we put ourselves under pressure. Just before the first goal, we had a really good chance to counter-attack and turn the ball over in the middle of the pitch. Um, threw a ball straight up the line and give them the ball back so you can't surrender possession as cheaply as that um, and you know that in those moments they can cause you a problem Poku dodges inside on his left foot picks up the back post cross and it's, it's uncontested at the back post um, second goal uh, pace beyond hurts us and, and like they're the quickest ones in the league really um, there was a tinge of offside maybe at the back post but that is what it is um, not sure I haven't seen it good enough yet and then the third one is just a horrible deflection and that's the game really um, of course you can come and have a real punt at it and actually we start the second half really well as well and look on top and they score in a moment of a, a breakaway off of our corner which they do well and we haven't got our numbers right behind the ball we've left ourselves without an extra one because we're chasing you know you're vulnerable and they execute those moments really well um, and then the fifth goal is just like sums it up really it's just a horrible horrible situation at the moment so yeah it's the worst result you'd want in a game like this it's, it's a painful one for everyone you know difficult it is you come here to try and make a bit of history and put in a performance and get some sort of result and you get the worst result possible so it's a horrible one horrible one to take um, but we'll get slaughtered we have to take it and crack on and, and be ready for the, the the next bit but it's going to burn us because we don't play for two weeks so we've got to sit on it for two weeks um, but in the end like, they had too much for us they're too good they're, they're, they're the best team we played um, so yeah like, you have to give them credit because they're just they, they, they had too much for us and um Athletically, technically, very, very good. You press them, they play round it. You, you, you sit off them, they hurt you. you. You attack, they break off you really fast. Um, he's built a brilliant team there, and um, they're very, very strong. Probably the strongest we've played. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. How do you explain that period in the first half? Was it a case of because, like you said, started the game very competitive and going toe to toe with them, but. Is it a case of one moment and then it sort of spirals from there, confidence a bit rocked and they obviously feel up with the fans and it goes from there? Yeah, momentum does does that in games, definitely. Um, the first goal is a period where they probably haven't earned the goal with chances and we've had good moments ourselves. Um, we give the ball away straight away from kickoff, a corner from our own kickoff, and then you just cause yourself problems in those moments. So it's those situations that if you don't look after little moments in games, a seven, eight minute period where that game's just gone from you, and, and actually just before the first goal, you're banging that game. That is like, you couldn't have asked really, obviously you want to score and, and dominate and whatever, but you can't ask for a much better start 30 minutes away from home against them. We, we set a really good intent about us. We pressed really well in the early part, and then they got control deep in the pitch and created overloads in our defence defensive line they do it brilliantly um, and, and outnumbered us did it in a different way but we started to, to find ways of coping with it um, so I thought actually it was a real like football intelligence game the first half hour was a really good test and our boys adapted to it well but you, you can't like praise or be too pleased with that because the game just goes in that, in that next period and it becomes a horrible horrible afternoon for us and then early in the second half I imagine the message at half time was to try and chase it get one goal and see what happens and sort of in doing so they break off a corner and sort of end the game you know, without question yeah look, you're going to have to go some aren't you to get something from the game at that point but it's never impossible you've got to play with some pride and go after it and then the fourth goal just like batters you because you just that's gone in it the game is gone and it's so hard to then um, have the the same endeavour to get after people we lost a little bit of that but in in, in doing too many moments like we didn't secure the ball well enough we didn't create enough moments in the, in the game but you, you evaluate the last 20 minutes of that game and it's like there's no point the game was just a dead dead fest at that point so it's horrible really that you say that because you don't ever want that to be the case but you never want to be in that position and it's the first time for us this year that this happened to us and it's on the day you really don't want it to but it, but it's, it shows where we are it shows where they are it shows how far we've got to go to be as good as them and it's a long long way obviously um, but we know that but you want to be more competitive on the day for sure like you said, a couple of weeks now before the next game, probably not what you wanted. Uh, well, we want a break. We've played 10 games in 35 days, so um, we look like it as well. So we need a break, but um, you don't want to have to stew on that result for two weeks, for sure. It's not that, but uh, crack on, in it? It's 17 games down, and um, we'll, take the, we'll take getting slaughtered because that's what will come, and you just have to deal with it and you understand it because you want to do better than that for people on a day like today. Sport is always like 
come and make great noise. Atmosphere before the game was great. They saw a team really go for it at the start, and then they saw a game unravel in front of their eyes, and and then just run away from us completely. Um, so it's tough because for all of us that um, want to come and do something and know what a game means, me more than anybody, you never really want to stand here on the end of this result. You don't want to stand here praising the opposition, but you got to respect the fact that they're a long way ahead of us and um, we've got a lot to do to try and catch them.